Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video here on the faction server continuing the faction series Now this video is actually going to be different because the faction server has just reset into a brand new season So the last five episodes i've done was on a whole nother season and uh, it basically just reset So we're on a new season, which means it, it is a totally fresh start. I went ahead and joined my faction I'm a little late on the release and they've already set up the base they've got some walls going and all that which i'll be showing off here in the next clip but i'm super stoked for the brand new release and if you have not yet checked out the server now would be a perfect time to check it out so make sure to use my ip when connecting uh the recommended version is 1.16 like the latest version now i honestly play on 1.12 just because all my mods and stuff are set up on here but uh yeah if you're looking to play you can play on any version i'm pretty sure but i think the recommended one is 1.16 plus but before we hop into the video i got two godly keys to open we're gonna go and bang bang oh wait okay we have to watch the animation all right what are we gonna get all right we got some iron blocks low-key useless might sell for some money but let's go and open up the other one come on come on come on all right here we go give me something good give me something good uh oh a hero kit not bad okay that is good now one more thing i want to get uh, or basically tell you all about is we're going to be giving away the ninja rank the first rank here on the server in this video all you got to do is leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel join the slate army why would you not want to do that and then post your username your minecraft username in the comment section down below and in the next episode here on mc complex faction series i will roll the winner so yeah solid kit we honestly pulled from that crate key i will take it now i'm gonna go ahead and head over to our base and i'll bring y'all right back all right so we are in the faction base as you can see it looks massive now i actually need to hop into a call with the faction and ask them if it's basically the same meta as last season with cactus as it looks like it is because we have built a massive cactus farm now i also turned off the coordinates in the top left i know some of y'all watching the video were waiting for me to show off the coordinates of our base because i've done that too many times but i am i i've grown and I'm, I'm smarter now but as you see they've actually been doing a really good job on this cactus farm holy crap it's massive and keep in mind printer is not enabled on this server i mean it's enabled but it's horrible um so you basically have to hand place cactus so they've done a really good freaking job on the base it looks massive i'm guessing um this cactus is making millions uh because even last map it made so much money so i'm guessing that is the meta scene that we have a massive farm this is just the base we got a solid uh, amount of numbers in the faction grinding on the base which i love to see now I actually don't own the faction. I went ahead and joined one of my uh, buds from last map that I actually met last map. Um, Azor, Azor, Azzy. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot how to say his name. All right, but yeah, I know he's watching this video. So shout out to you for inviting me. We're on As on Top, which is his faction, and hopefully uh, we will be on top by the end of the season. But I'm going to go ahead, cut the clip really quickly, and show you all the top of the base. Okay, we have teleported to the very top, and as you can see, it looks really good. Like, I never even had a base with this many walls in the last map, so it's already looking solid. I think it's like day three of the reset. The reset happened on March the 1st, so uh, yeah, I actually don't know when I'm uploading this video, so uh, that all depends on whenever I'm uploading the video. But yeah, the base is looking solid. We got the Bitcoin grinding on it, which you love to see. Oh my gosh, he's making sand walls? Heck yeah. Wow, we got some grinders. And yeah, keep in mind, printer is not enabled. There's no gin buckets. This is straight OG faction. So you have to hand place everything. So I'm kind of impressed. I love to see the faction grinding with this. Well, I kind of give away the faction's base location in a way. I mean, I guess it's not in a corner or on a border. So I guess I'm not giving away too much. But yeah, okay. Hopefully we don't get raided after the video. I feel so bad. But yeah, I actually don't know what I'm going to be doing in the rest of this video. I need to just do some start of the world base basic stuff i'm gonna go ahead and slash pv1 or slash yeah ender chest uh this kit i got i'm actually gonna gonna use a kit let me do slash kit oh heck yeah i have all the kits still you love to see it baby all right we're gonna go and throw on the best gear on the server we actually need to make it netherite um which probably means i need to hop on 1.16 um here soon so yeah probably gonna make my gear netherite um, I don't know, but last map, the Diamond Sword did more damage than the Netherite Sword. I don't know if that's the same or not. I really just need to figure out what all I've changed, if anything, from the last map. I may go on the search for raids since it is a brand new season. I feel like there's going to be some fresh bases set up that we could get some early raids on. And we will see. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and as always, 
subscribe join the slate army and let's go and hop right into the rest of the video so i went ahead and hopped on 1.16 and i'm gonna go ahead and make all of my gear netherite and i actually picked up a netherite axe me and the faction were fighting in the war zone for a little bit which i actually have a funny clip to show y'all after this clip where i killed my my teammate on axe and i guess you can kill your teammates or your faction members that accidentally killed our teammates a great clip y'all will see it after this but we're gonna go ahead and make all of our gear netherite and also this netherite axe the attack damage is 10 compared to this diamond sword which the attack damage is 9 so i'm gonna go ahead and get sharpness 5 on this axe and start using that in pvp because it does so much more damage but here we go gonna go and make all the gear netherite I actually wonder um okay yeah it does make it okay i'm yeah, making a netherite sword does make it do more damage so there you go we're gonna go ahead and put on the netherite gear now if i go to the bottom to our basement we actually have loads of villagers they're like insanely overpowered with insanely good books as you can see let me go and right click this bad boy thorns three this one has mending this one has unbreaking three and then this one has efficiency five so the unbreaking three one it only costs 14 emeralds i got a lot of emeralds um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and get some books and uh, make my axe I'm um, breaking three. And then I think somehow if you break these like totems or whatever they, these are, it changes the books they give. And we did have a sharpness five, but it turned into a thorns three. Um, so we basically need to break whichever totem is this guy's um, is what I was told. I don't know if that's correct. And then I guess we can break it until it gives a sharp five, which is probably what we're going to do, which is really overpowered. I had no idea villagers work like that. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop into a clip and show you all a clip right now i actually wasn't on 1.16 so we're all in like diamond armor really i think they're in netherite armor i'm in diamond but yeah it's a funny clip it's gonna be quick and then we'll be right back on to the video cheers for the booster you literally made me caught up so cheers oh just please don't hit me again or i'll die uh oh <laughs> <laughs> i got your stuff i got your stuff <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to kill my teammate. Oh my gosh, I'm the worst. All right, so we are back. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and try to get these villagers, one of them to at least give me a sharpness five. Okay, first of all, wake the heck up, boys. I need to see which one. Okay, this is efficiency five. This is mending. Okay, wait, dude, stop going to sleep. I need to see all the trades. Frostwalker, I'm actually going to get because I feel like that could honestly be kind of a beat. Wake up, dude. What are you doing? Curse of Vanishing. Okay. No idea what that is, but I'm going to go and break one of these totems. Which one was it that... Wait, none of them? None of these guys just got changed? I'm so confused. One of them usually... Maybe they had to be close to the totem? I don't even know. Hold on. Maybe I need to make the... Uh, make it closer to one of them. Wait, what does this guy have? Hold on. Let me see this guy. He's the Curse of Vanish. Okay, I'm going to place it near him and then break it. I don't know if this is how it works. Maybe not. I don't know. Hold on. It was literally working earlier. What is going on? Oh my gosh. It was literally working. Like, okay, maybe because I need to sleep or something. I really don't know, but I'm going to go and place this back. Usually when I broke them, it would change like the, what they look like. And then when I replace it, it would change what they look like and it would give me a better trade. But yeah, we're going to go and get Frostwalker. That sounds like insanely overpowered. Basically, I'm pretty sure Frostwalker, if I have that on my boots, if I walk across water, it makes it ice. I feel like if it works um, in the wrong way, it could literally break people's bases. I don't really know. I'm going to keep it because um, I'm probably not going to put on these boots. I'm going to put on a special pair of boots. I'm going to put in my inner chest. That could be really broken. I'm not even sure. Honestly, while I'm here, I should probably get the Efficiency 5 book. Which one was it that sold Efficiency 5? This one? Yeah, there it is. Boom. Grab that book because... Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna go and put that on my pickaxe. It's gonna be really good. So yeah, we'll do that. I'm gonna keep trying. I don't know why this wasn't working. I was literally doing it earlier where I break this, it changes one of them, and then I place it back and it changes their trade. Maybe it's because they're sleeping. Who knows? But yeah, I'm gonna go and just get loaded up and I'll bring y'all back. Okay, so the Clutch's faction member, Joshua, literally just told me I could have his Sharpness 5 book. I was looking through a protected chest and I just saw this chest and it says Joshua's stuff. And I was just kind of snooping around and I saw, you know, he has a Sharpness 5 book and he literally said he'd give me it. So shout out to Joshua. We now have Sharpness 5 on our axe. Actually, I need to grab my EXP bottles. Here we go. And it should give me enough EXP to get it on my axe. That's actually so big time. Let's freaking go. That is so good. Okay, shout out to Joshua for literally just letting me take. He had no questions. He just said, yes, I can have it. Okay, that was so clutch. But we got sharp five on the axe. As you can see, 13 attack damage. That's so good. Like, I'm just going to go and put up my sword. That's amazing. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so honestly, I think I just need to get some ender pearls, and I'll probably be ready to fight. I don't think I need anything else on the axe. I don't even know if you can put, like, sweeping edge and stuff 
on it but uh yeah that's really good all right so we're back with actually a raid the faction right now is setting up a cannon i really don't know anything about cannon so hopefully it'll work but if i fly over to the base we're actually raiding i can fly in their territory which is kind of sick i don't really know why but all the other sides have like an enormous amount of walls like look at all these walls and i guess they just did not finish these two sides which were basically abusing i don't even know i think there's like one two three four five six seven eight walls before we get in the main base i feel like it has to be something good um if it's protected this uh crazily or this much i guess you could say but while i'm down here while the faction is doing that i'm gonna actually try to see if i can figure out to, a way to get in the base by like creep bragging i don't really know if it is gonna be possible but i mean it's worth a try oh no don't 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 do this water okay good i don't know if this is gonna work honestly we're just gonna try uh hopefully i don't waste creeper eggs okay well that's all the watered oh my gosh did i ruin it i don't think there's a way in now i was hoping i'd get under that sand and then maybe just try to break under their base i don't really know i didn't think it was gonna work i just thought it was worth a try but yeah okay wait what's whoa 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 whoa, 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 whoa. wait a minute wait a minute sag right there oh no way we did we just, oh my gosh we're actually gonna get in the base i actually think we're gonna get in the base here oh my gosh this is a massive mistake here we go again get us in we're in the base we're in the base we're in the base oh my gosh I, i'm not even telling the faction about this i should probably tell them i'm in i'm in i'm in the base tp tp to me oh my gosh this is crazy i don't know oh, i don't want them to take all the loot but i mean they, they're the one who got me to the okay okay tp again tp slash tp uh slash tp yes they keep getting overrided okay uh slash tps tps okay that's oh no okay i'm tping so many people in here it looks like it's just a cactus farm which is kind of an l to be honest is there anything in there oh there's cactus there's cactus which is money 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 oh my gosh let's go there's so much money okay i'm gonna go and sell all of this i want to explore all the other of the base so i'm gonna sell a little bit of it shift right click there we go oh my gosh 79k yo i'm actually gonna stay here and keep selling this crap sells for so much okay we can go up here does it oh Oh, okay. I was hoping it would stay on the ladder. I don't think it does. I don't know how we would get in here. I don't really know, but it looks like it's literally just a cactus farm. So thank goodness I got in before we did the whole raid. Because I feel like they would have been mad because uh, it would have been kind of a waste of time. But let's see. Can we get more cactus? Yes, more cactus. Give me all the cactus. This is so much money. I love it. All right. Well, I'm going to go and keep segging their chest. And hopefully there's cactus in all of them. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Let's go. This is epic. This is so much money. Oh, okay, this is great. Now, it does suck that there actually isn't like... I think chests or like you know real loot spawners or anything but it was a cactus farm and we did just raid it i honestly don't know if there's any way in i'm trying to look around oh wait i'm stupid i can actually just put a seg right here um wait right yeah right here oh yep second okay break it let's go okay we're in holy cow okay anything wait <gasps> wait wait there are spawners oh my gosh wait a minute wait a minute okay i think we can actually get in if i use I'm thinking I can use a fishing rod. Hold on. Let me blow. Come on. Oh, it did not give me. Oh, wait a minute. I might be able to build the wall. Dude, this could be insane. This is going to be. No. No. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I could actually get in this. I'm thinking a fishing rod. Um, okay. So, I'll bring it back when I get a fishing rod. I really do think I can do this. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I actually just noticed that it's covered in water so creep ragging wouldn't even work which is unfortunate i tried to get in used all my creep rags and i went to buy more <laughs> creep rags cost so much money last season they were 1000 per another 50000 per which is insane so i basically wasted all my creep rags i don't think we're going to get in without a cannon which is why maybe we should finish our cannon and try to get in i feel like it could be worth it because i see so many spawners in there at least there's so many blazes and igs so it could be worth it i'll bring it back if we decide to raid it but i I mean honestly i'll take that i got loads of money from selling that cactus but ladies and gentlemen that is actually going to wrap up episode one of season two here on mc complex factions realm it was honestly a great episode i had a blast recording it and if you made it to the very end of the video please let me know in the comment section because i highly appreciate you so much but yeah that's gonna wrap it up and i'll see you guys in the next one and uh yeah peace out guys